quick note about your 12,000 XP off-grid inverter. If you have it hooked up to a lead-acid battery bank and you keep getting a 028 fault code, it's actually a warning. That green circling light will change to a yellow or orange circling light and it will stop inverting. And this has to do with your solar panels bringing in uh, power to the batteries and the batteries being at a high state of charge. So what occurs is you are drawing a load, let's say like an air conditioner, and that causes this inverter to pull from the bus bar that this is connected to. And this is at such a high state of charge that when this is calling for a load, the current on that bus bar exceeds what the original firmware allows. So once you get this installed, make sure you get that firmware installed and you won't have that problem anymore. Quick simple fix and it really makes it a huge difference. You don't have to go and turn off your solar, but if you are for some reason unable to get that firmware then you have to painstakingly every day shut down solar when these batteries when your batteries get to a higher state charge so it's no way to live and it's definitely something you want to get taken care of the only other thing that i've noticed was in the settings here when you first get this and you try and change your discharge these values right here, your discharge cutoff volt will be factory at 42. And that is far too low for a lead acid. So, and, and you can't change it. You, you can try all day long to get that 42 to go up and you cannot change it until you get hooked up to the app online where you have to um, change all the settings for there. So, if you can't get this dongle to work, then you can't get that to work properly. It's kind of a headache, but once you get it, it works. But it's unfortunately unfortunate that it comes from the factory like this.